Okay, hi YouTube. I'm gonna show you how you can take a photo of the Milky Way using your Panasonic FZ82 or FZ80. Okay, so running down the settings, I want you to go to a scenery mode. So here, then you select 15 artistic nightscape. Now, using the thumb cursor here at the top, select 60 seconds. Notice that 60 seconds is only available when you're using a mechanical uh, shutter. If it's on electronic shutter, you may only get one second exposure. So make sure you're on mechanical shutter and uh, select 60 seconds. Now, after that, you'll see that um, I can't get a 2.8 aperture. A 2.8, I can only get a uh, 40 second uh, exposure so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select 60 and then I'm gonna press the the cursor with my thumb with my thumb and uh, go to two-thirds of a of a stop okay select that and uh, yeah right now I have 2.8 exposure ISO unfortunately unfortunately is locked at 80 so there's nothing you can do about that uh, next let's get um, manual focus so take it from autofocus to macro focus now uh, left arrow key you'll you'll get this um, this uh, pop-up now your focus should be more or less close to the edge like here it is um, I have to set it just barely next to the red then you exit uh, make sure you're also shooting in raw and uh, okay press the shutter I also have noise reduction on so this exposure will be one minute and then another one minute for for noise reduction so two minutes long okay see you in a bit okay guys exposure time is uh, complete uh, let's now um oh, I forgot to mention that if you go into uh, menu um if you go here i had self timer to uh 2 seconds also when you you select high resolution on high and uh intelligent dynamic or yeah you can uh, set it to high or just leave it off in any of these cases uh you have to take multiple pictures see what works best uh, each situation is different, each night is different, but in post-process you can you can change these same settings. Okay, so this picture I didn't um, get the Milky Way because I'm not trying to frame. I've already framed it here. So now I'm going to give you a brief ed uh, explanation on how I edited this photo. Okay, so exit go to the green play button or actually just put a menu set go to the green play button here called playback go to raw processing select your image in this case this one okay first option you get white balance now white balance is a you can't go with auto white balance, you can't go with sunlight, cloud, uh, indoors, uh, whatever. Go to uh, the custom and then select which uh, white balance looks best. In this case, I chose just uh, the minimum, 2500. Okay, I select that. I haven't adjusted. I put it all the way here because the image looked uh, neater and better okay so you have to uh, check that 
and uh, custom do that and see what works best exposure obviously you'll run a bring that up set photo style I like to leave it on natural because it brightens everything up and uh, I don't know if you mentioned if I mentioned but I'm currently in front of a lake so here it intelligent dynamic I'll put it on maximum to bring me uh, highlights on the lake you can already see the lake contrast uh, contrast is a bit tricky sometimes you want it a bit darker sometimes you want it a little bit lighter in this case I put it two stops lighter well actually I can just leave it as it is let me just do that go to highlights I like highlights on on maximum because it brings out the, the white in the stars the white in the cloud shadows um, you can brighten them up I prefer to To brighten them up by a stop or two next you've got saturation put that on max I want to see all the possible colors I can get noise reduction maximum uh, FZ80 and the sensor get really noisy intelligent resolution in this case if you had shot the picture with intelligent resolution on then it would be on maximum okay in this case I didn't so in press process I had to select on maximum um, anyway you can also leave it off the the thing about it is that it, um, it basically counts uh, it like reduces the, 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 the image size sharpness maximum and um, that's it raw to JPEG save picture and there you have it a super edited like photo with no highlights whatever to a beautiful shot then uh, I would encourage you to uh, import it to Lightroom the pictures and um, yeah uh, check the noise reduction add some more colors to it and uh, see what you get okay guys cheers bye